What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Cocoa family and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at the cargo trains and um, maybe the freight trains and the freight hubs sort of things like that. So these are added to the game on the base uh, game, you do not require a DLC in order to add them, but they add a really major part to your game. But unless you use them um, with kind of knowing what you're doing then they can severely impact other areas of your game and i'm meaning things like traffic and such like that so what do they do where do you find them so underneath your transportation um, section under the trains you will find these the cargo train terminal this is exactly what we're all talking about now what these do is these allow um, trains to enter your city from outside of your city boundaries so using the external rail connectors like on my map it's the top and bottom ones here it uses those to be able to connect uh, to send trains in and out of that either are taking cargo out of your city or bringing some goods into your city and this is both beneficial for commercial and your industrial commercial because it brings in those extra um, goods that they're able to sell and your industrial because they're able to sell their um, industrial products out of your city too but of course putting these into places in your city is important there is also another big benefit for them they allow you to have interconnecting trains so internal to your city to connect from cargo hub to cargo hub so allowing you to free up your roads from those heavy goods traffic to free up the traffic and such like that to get it across your city so i already have a couple of these cargo hubs around my city you'll notice one here for example but uh, we got one here and we have one here but you'll notice that we have this large cargo area here for our industry area and we have a lot of traffic coming in and out of it but at the moment uh, they all hit the road they all travel out and they're all traveling to the same spot here this cargo hub but you'll notice that it is now getting very congested congested over here because they are not only traveling to this one they're trying to travel to this one over here and it's getting very busy so the way to remove this is i'm going to use a main I'm going to need another cargo hub and I might even build two. So what you need to do is you come down to your cargo transportation to it and you build it. The useful thing is it builds on the side of a road so you don't have to require additional land or anything like that. It just builds on the side of the road. What I recommend doing is placing it kind of central to a location that produces a lot of um, cargo. So for example here, this is in the middle in between my uh, forestry area all the way down here which is still on the foresty bit but it's between the production area and then the processes so we're going to build one nicely in kind of this gap here lovely and from there we just need to connect it up to the train network so i'm just going to come here now this is where i said you may potentially if you don't know what you're doing mess up the rest of your network and i don't i don't say that lightly what i mean by that is if you don't know what you're doing when you're building tracks, you can very easily mess up your entire network because these tracks, if you just go through the road, they just create a level crossing and they just add to your problems. So it is very important you kind of think about that as and when you're building. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it fairly high coming across all these and we're going to come down neatly over into this point here. Now, are we able to get down to the ground level? I think we might be. Yes, we can. It's saying the slope is too steep. That's fine. What we can do is we can delete these. And for now, we're just going to bring this up. Like that. And we're going to bring this one in here. Uh, I might delete a little bit more. There we go. And the reason for what I'm doing this for is because the one out to the right out here this is the one to the exit of the city we can see that this brings us all the way out and will lead the trains out of the city words ones on coming this way this takes us deeper into the city this actually takes us more to the residential areas and this has a couple of places it can go it can either come here to our other farming area this is not the industry area um well it's one of my industry areas but isn't the key industry area we've got our main one over here um, but it also can take it into the heart of the city we haven't got anything here that can take off but we do have one here 
which they can come out of, um, which takes us down into the bottom side of the uh, kind of the river here, or it can go directly into our industrial zone. You can see that this is mainly where people are coming out of on this one, uh, but we do have, uh, I think that's actually, yeah, that is the only one on this side, so therefore they're mainly coming out of here, which is always good to see. So you can see over here, they're all coming out, and then they're either filling up certain areas such as our warehouses and our production facilities, but they're also then going into the rest of the towns and the city to then stock up commercial zones, which is really good to see, and that's really the big benefit of it. So we're just going to make sure that this has got power. I think it does, but this is just moaning for it the time being. And we see we've already got a line queuing up ready to go, which is great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's one side done. We can already see that minus slight queue of traffic coming here, which uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe they, they have come after this. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're also going to add one in here, I think. I think that's also going to be beneficial. So once again, we're going to place it in here. We can see where the road will go. You can see it goes in there. Well, the road, no, sorry, the rail. And we're just going to curve it. You can see there that I've curved it off to, off to the left rather than going at one to the right because um, there's no real need for the train track to come in here and go here. Um, they could drive that quite easily, uh, whereas going off to the left, actually, that does add some benefits. The other thing that is worth noting, and I haven't done it on this one, but I did it in the prep ready to go, is you'll notice that this road here has the middle section in it. And you may be thinking, why? That's just re reduced the amount that the road has, but it hasn't in a way. This is forcing the traffic to come all the way down, loop around and turn left. <coughs> Meaning you do not have traffic coming here, trying to cut across the main road, causing a, and then what this does is it allows a kind of a rotation system. So it's essentially building sort of a U road or maybe a potential kind of like roundabout sort of example. And that is very beneficial for, for the flow of traffic. We can now see that this has heavily reduced the impact of the lorries on the major road here, because most of, most of the traffic here is coming in here and filling up this rail terminal. Eventually, we're gonna see a reduction of the traffic in here, but for the time being, I'm not entirely sure why these are still coming out. Uh, it's potential that these have uh, started off. These ones have decided to come all the way down to this rail terminal, which is not a bad thing. It's entirely fine um, for them to do. Um, so that's something to look at in future. Potentially, we could have added one in here, uh, which would have reduced it again. Um, but there's things we can learn from this. But I hope you have learned a lot from what you can do with these rail terminals. The freight rail terminals are very beneficial for your city and add a lot of benefit. So please let me know in the comment section below, how do you use your rail terminals? Have they made a massive impact to your city? Have you seen a reduction of your um, lorries and your um, trucks going across your city? I'd love to know. Put it in the comment section below. If this has been useful for you, hit that like button. Uh, and of course, hit the subscribe button. You will know when my next video goes up. But until then, I've been Scotty from Blue Coco Family. I wish you a very good day and I'll see you next time.